Hello and welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. If you've ever done a pub quiz, you'll know the rules. I'll ask six questions for every month and I'll expect answers from you at home, from our studio audience and, of course, from our three teams. We have Simon Pegg and Lisa Tarbuck. <laughs> David Williams and Rob Bryden. <laughs> and June Sarpong and Jonathan Ross. <laughs> have you got crazy quiz names? Oh. Have we ever? Oh. We were supposed to, yeah. <laughs> um, what have you got? <laughs> we were going to call ourselves Cut to the Funk. <laughs> we just want you to say Cut to the Funk lots and lots of times in case you say at one point, think about it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> David Williams, Rob Ryden, have you got a quiz name? Well, he didn't like my suggestions. Mine was uh, Martha and Arthur. He didn't like that. He didn't Which like one's it. Martha? Which one's Arthur? Well, you, well, you, you don't know. For do God's you? sake, come <laughs> on, please. Please. <laughs> Who do you think? Which one is Martha? Hinton Brackett as well. Yeah, again, there's, there's a kind of a dubious <laughs> sexuality to all of these, which I'm not no, comfortable so we, with. So we've stuck with um, BJ and the Bear. <laughs> He's the bear. I bet he is. And you, you're going to make a very good BJ, aren't you? <laughs> I'm the bear lover. <laughs> June Sarpong, Jonathan Ross, have you got uh, a quiz team name? Yeah. We, yeah. Were, we were thinking about The Incredibles. We thought, no, that's too root one. Yes. We were thinking about Cooking Cream. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Wisely rejected that. That's <laughs> <laughs> indeed Ebony and Ivory. That was also fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We were cookie, but yeah. we thought better not. Uh, we've uh, decided to call ourselves. The winners. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> we winners come to self fulfilling prophecy, you see. Right, let's get started. I'll refresh your memories. The year rather predictably kicked off with January and the news that Harold Shipman had killed another pensioner. Luckily, it was him. <laughs> it was alleged that Stephen Hawking was the victim of spousal abuse. His family backed him up and hid him in a cupboard until his wife had gone. <laughs> Cannabis was downgraded from a Class B to a Class C drug, which was bad news for Scouse kids. They had to learn a new letter. <laughs> Greg Rosetsky was embroiled in drug cheat allegations. Overnight, the British tennis ace became a moose-fucking Canadian junkie. <laughs> Eyes down, let's get on with the quiz. January, you've got six questions to answer. Mm. Here is the first. Okay. Get your pen out. Right. <laughs> this picture of the Queen enraged animal lovers in January. But what is she doing? She's got a nice scarf on, hasn't she? It's very nice scarf. God bless her. God bless Her Majesty. But what is she up to? <laughs> Question... <laughs> No. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. She's, no, she's doing it wrong. She's Rob, sit down. Sorry. Right. <laughs> question number two. The next question involves guessing the headline. So if I was to show you these two pictures, you'd say Jimmy Carr, and you'd be right. Uh, okay. Uh, now look at these pictures and say what you see to work out the headline from January. Yeah. What is that? Leaves. Autumn. Leaves. <laughs> Wasps and waves. Wasps. So it's Greg. What was her name? Kitten. She kitten. Kitten. Tennis finger. Leaf wasp seek. Kitten. <laughs> Don't give it away, Jonathan. Am I, am I warm? Yeah, it certainly starts with tennis finger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> we got it. Let's go on to the next one. Yeah. That's it, you two. Poker face. Well done. <laughs> okay, question number three. What did this man finally announce that he'd lost this month? <laughs> yeah. Is it his virginity? <laughs> no, that was March. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the centre part of his beard. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. OK, you got an answer down for that? Yes. All right, here's a clip of crazy crockmeister Steve Irwin defending himself. And it's all about perceived danger. In front of that crocodile, I was in complete control. Absolute and complete control. That is my profession. What had he done? Oh. Can we see this again? I put Fred Baby. <laughs> I wasn't really listening. Well. Because Rob was touching my leg under the table. <laughs> you should pay attention. Well, all right, I'll know for, ne for next time. If he's changed anything. Next he's, year. If his show's now doing quite well, he's getting, can I see it again? <laughs> uh, can I dressing room? Can I have a massage? He asked me before the shows. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> Lazy, that's what you've become. Did you? Simon and Lisa, are you discussing philosophy? 
Yes. Yeah. You look as if you're quite. Of... We're trying to get that bloody tennis kit oh. and leaves be. Hey, we've got it. We've got it. Yeah. No, no, no. It? Right. it was easy. No, no, no. There's no conferring between teams. What is it? No, leave it. <laughs> don't, don't say a word. <laughs> right, okay. What did Britney Spears do for the first time this year in January? Crack. <laughs> Okay, question number six for January. I've got a little bit of a treat for you. Mitchell Brook Primary School in Neesden have put on a play depicting a new story from January. Watch it and tell me what these little thesps are acting out. What I thought my friend was going to win. How are you doing? What was that all about? Yeah, got it. Got Jude's it. got it. We got it. We got it. Well, put your pens down. Okay, right. January answers. Question number one. The Queen was pictured beating a what? We put killing a harmless little fox. Killing a harmless little fox? Yeah, like a little friendly fox. Like Basil Bush or... Yeah. Talking Disney fox, like the one from the Fox and the Hound. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. She's our Queen. She would fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? You had clubbing a seal? Should have known better. It's wandered onto dry land. It knows <laughs> a mercy killing. Yes. <laughs> it would have got stuck in the brambles otherwise. I'm not hey, David, having our queen criticised on television. Yeah. You can ban fox hunting, that's okay. But when you ban seal clubbing, that's a step too far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rob and David, that, that's maybe, maybe a little bit of a silly answer. Nothing compared to Simon and Lisa's, though. Throttling, Throttling a, a swan. swan. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, though. Look at the neck on a swan. Get hold of it. Bang! They all belong to her. She's got a grip of it and thought, Pooh, have that. Rams that stick down its neck. But She's a got couple, herself a, little... a couple is just too tempting. Crack! <laughs> 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 Sorry, well, I'm Well, I've got down, uh, <laughs> the Queen was pictured beating a pheasant to death. Yeah! Oh, Fox, swan, a seal, pheasant, all very much all on the very similar. Yeah. killing summit. None of you got that. Did you get that? Yeah. Yeah. Only the smug would. ones at the top. Fine, OK. <laughs> What was the headline? I'm going to ask Simon and Lisa. Well done. Sorry. OK. Parkinson <laughs> leaves BBC. Oh, terrible. Jimmy, we've got it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jimmy, what? Jimmy, 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 oh, tell him, tell him, Jimmy. Jimmy. David tell Williams. Him, tell, him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Greg Dyke leaves BBC. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I think you'll find that we had that and we did make a big show of getting it right. Exactly. You both got that right. Well done. OK. This was Colin Pillinger. What had he lost? The Beagle. <clears throat> We've no, not just the Beagle, Beagle 2. Beagle 2? You've Thank actually you. got Beagle 2 down, that's pretty impressive. What is the correct answer? Beagle 2, the Mars probe. Let him speak. Well, <laughs> it's Colin Pillager, he lost the Beagle 2 space probe with the famous words, Yeovil, we have a problem. <laughs> Are you going to give them what? a point for Beagle? I'm we, going to give a point for Mars we, Explorer no. thing. Oh, yes, that's close yeah, enough. Mars Explorer, the Mars Explorer yeah. thing is near enough. It's called Beagle 2. We've written Beagle 2. Beagle. They have not written We've Beagle 2. In the rarefied Mars. atmosphere that you two occupy, the gay salons you attend, sure, people <laughs> have to know Beagle 2. The man and woman on the street who we represent, yes. they will talk to it as the Mars Explorer thing. <laughs> Question four. Uh, Steve Irwin, we asked you what had he done. Have a look at this. Watch his eyes, watch his feet, Bob. Watch him, watch him. Good boy, Bob. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine how full that nappy was? <laughs> I thought it was a great little Britain sketch. It was like you and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> what did you all get for that? Yeah, we got it right. Yeah. We put fed baby to fuck that. Whose baby was it? His, his baby. It was his baby. Oh, okay. Mine, yeah. <laughs> that, that would have been significantly worse if you just picked one out of the crowd. <laughs> was it a real baby or a stunt baby? <laughs> stunt baby. Type Michael Jackson uses. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, what did Britney do for the first time? Well, I can tell you, the first thing she did was... Get, get married. Married. Married to a man. Married to a man. 
We Good just got married. Got, got married, married, got married. Well, yeah. you're all right, she got yeah. married for the first right. time. She, uh, she had it annulled two days then later, then claiming she was arsehole, which is grounds for divorce in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> the children were acting out Ricky Gervais and the office winning two Golden Globes. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Right, one, well, you can all rest your brains for a minute. Uh, it's not often I agree with Don McLean, but February made me shiver with every paper I delivered. Bad news was on the doorstep for Dr. Atkins. It turned out he was clinically obese when he died. It wasn't a good month all round for Atkins' followers, with research showing that the diet can lead to depression. I could have told you that. That's just deductive reasoning. Everyone knows fat people are jolly. <laughs> Peter Andre was back in the charts with Mysterious Girl, thanks largely to the publicity surrounding his affair with Jordan. Ironic, really, as she's the least mysterious girl in the world. <laughs> there isn't a man in this room that couldn't pick out her cervix in a lineup. <laughs> and Stan Cullimore introduced dogging to the British public. For anyone that doesn't know, dogging is parking up in a local lover's lane, having sex with a total stranger, whilst loads of others look on masturbating. And you end up driving away with a car looking like a plasterer's radio. <laughs> Beautiful. That's like poetry, that is. I know, but yeah. A bit more quiz for you, February questions. What phrase did Justin Timberlake use to explain this shocking incident at the Super Bowl? <laughs> oh, yes. June's got it. Simon Pegg, Lisa Tarbuck in a lot of trouble there. Have you got it? Oh, dear. We were out a lot this year. <laughs> Question number two for February. Tory MP Anne Winterton was in hot water for a tasteless joke she made about the tragic deaths of the Morecambe Bay cockle pickers. In her disgraceful gag, what did one hungry shark say to the other? They haven't even got anything down for one either. <laughs> Can I make David a prefect? Is that all right? Nothing down for one. Which? Stay well, don't one. look. Don't, David. Eyes on your own work, David. Right. <laughs> okay. Question number three. What did Michael Jackson reportedly call white wine when giving it to his young guests? Oh. Yeah, because I was at his house. And... <laughs> OK, question number four for February. Why did this noise shock Radio 4 listeners this month? Oh. Imagine that. Yeah, in the yes. In the, yeah, in the, yes, got it. Got it, yes. What do we win? <laughs> it's quite a good prize. Do we actually win a prize? You do win a prize, yeah. Do we really win something? Yeah. You're making it up. We're going to start taking this very seriously. <laughs> OK. We now eavesdrop on the private life of TV's Richard and Judy. Oh, good. What news story are they discussing here? Richard? Hmm? Would you ever eat a willy? You mean a penis? Yeah. Me? Eat a penis? Yeah. But it depends, wouldn't it? Would it? Well, I might be hungry. <laughs> I see, yes. Well, that certainly did happen in this case, didn't it? Well, it depends what you define as hunger. I mean, there's sexual <laughs> hunger and there's other forms of hunger. But it was very strange. It was all very Teutonic, I thought. Yes, extremely. But he did take the other one he was going to do before he actually did the real thing. He did take him to the pictures afterwards. I think that was uh, Ocean's Eleven, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Kind of appropriate in a strange way. <laughs> I'm mainly feeling sexual hunger right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hard not to. <laughs> did you see they did a sketch and they pretended to be Lou and Andy from Little Britain? No. So was she in the wheelchair? She was in the wheelchair. Oh. <laughs> That's not a bad piece of casting. <laughs> it was fantastic. Were they good? Are you worried? It, it was really good. In fact, it was really funny. And they said, oh, we just wrote it this afternoon in about a minute. Well, that's kind of how you work, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in February, a poll reported that 70% of TV viewers couldn't tell Ant from Deck. What we want to know, therefore, is which one is no, this. That's easy. That's easy. Uh, my mum thinks my sister and him would get on really well. Why is that? Don't know, just because I think they get on with each other and that. Your sister looks a bit like... <laughs> a yeah, so maybe, maybe if you're watching... <laughs> Deck, come on, we watch that. <laughs> <laughs> get in touch Tiny, with my he? sister. So you're saying that he's allowed to go on your sister? Hey! <laughs> I, didn't say that. I just thought maybe a, a dinner, perhaps a film or a video. Do you think Ant would be around all the time as well? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I, I don't, you know, it'd be, it could be great, like Christmas and stuff, it'd be hilarious. Do you think they sleep together, like Morecambe and Wise used to sleep together? <laughs> when they're making shows in a bed with pyjamas? I bet sometimes they do. Yeah. yeah. When it's, necessity it's, calls. Yeah. Quite nice, quite natural, nothing yeah, wrong come with Come on, there. we have. Nothing wrong do you think they've ever double teamed a lady? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you ready for your February answers? Yes. 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 All right. Question number one. Uh, Justin and Janet blamed a what? Costume malfunction. Wardrobe. No. Incorrect. According to June, it was a wardrobe malfunction. Are we going to oh. take... I, I tell you what, Idiot. we're going to take costume. No! Malfunction. Yeah, because because yeah. malfunction Well, hang on a second. Oh, what was the actual phrase? It was a wardrobe malfunction. Right. Yeah. What have we written down? Exactly. Wardrobe malfunction. Right. Who deserves the point? Right. Well, the people who got it right or the people who nearly got it right? right. <laughs> let's go back to January. Now, let's clear up, which we never did, <laughs> with the whole beagle farrago. <laughs> If, it, let me finish, <laughs> if, if you're saying that they didn't get the point for saying spaceship, then fair enough. We shouldn't have the point for saying costume malfunction. On the other hand, if you decided Rob, that they deserved Rob, a point for Rob. spaceship, then well, we should have a point. No, oh, no. Everyone okay. knows you mark okay. easier in January. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. oh. Now, your answer, a tragic accident. <laughs> It was a wardrobe malfunction. I will accept a costume Thank malfunction. You very much. I'm just a generous man. I can't believe a tragic it. accident, not quite right. <laughs> okay, the punchline to the joke. What did one hungry shark say to the other? It was uh, fancy a Chinese in Morecambe. This yeah, evening. That's we, what I we've think we've got, got the closest. I think really. Only words really to that, that effect. I think you'll find that we have. We've actually got Morecambe. Did you mention Morecambe? Yeah. yeah. Oh well, well done. Oh, you really are good. Mm. Top of our game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question number three. Michael Jackson called white wine what? This is Man our best juice. one. <laughs> Love piss. Simon's going to want to drink. That's an what incredible thing. Have, have a pint of Love piss. Who's going to do that? I wouldn't have a whole pint. It's in a wine bottle. I would have half a pint. Yeah. <laughs> You've gone for man juice, which is along similar lines. Man yeah. juice is much more polite. <laughs> Michael Jackson <laughs> called white wine Jesus juice. Mm. Well, hold it. Hold it. Was Jesus not a man? Oh, come on. <laughs> Was Jesus not a man? Was they not the son of God? costume yes. malfunction, then we should get man juice. Man yeah. juice. I think man is distinct from Jesus, no, but especially you know why? this time Jimmy, of year. Jimmy, 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 we didn't like <laughs> Jesus because we didn't want to upset yeah. people who are religious yeah. this time of year. So we wrote man because we thought you also would be polite enough not to bring the saviour into such a tawdry <laughs> business. <laughs> no points. <laughs> the kissing noise. What was that? A gay kiss. On the arches. Simon? Gay in kiss. the arches. Yeah. On the arches, correct. In the arches. Well, no, no, no. Underneath the arches. <laughs> <laughs> we should was get that? an extra point because we said lesbian kiss. No, <laughs> you get no points. It wasn't a lesbian kiss, it was two fellas. Seriously though, what about love piss? <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Richard and Judy, what were they discussing? We know. Okay, Rob, we what know do you think? German, the German cannibal man who, who ate his... Oh. He, 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 he went on the internet. Uh, and, yeah. and Googled a, um, Googled some Googles, and he found a man who actually wanted to be eaten, didn't yeah. he? That was the whole point of this. <laughs> they got together, and this man was still alive, while well, part of him, I think he was while being he fried. sliced yeah. it off but and fried a, there's it. There's a good detail to the story, is that when he'd cut off his member Don't and say was frying it, um, while he was waiting for it to cook, he, he read a Star Trek novelization. Yes, <laughs> yes. The Search yes. for Cock. <laughs> okay, uh, who was it? Was it Ant? Was it Deck? Deck. 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 It was Deck. Deck. That's right. At the end of January and February, it's time to take stock. Here are the scores. Simon and Lisa have 8 out of 12. Yes. Uh, David and Rob have 9 out of 12. And Jun Sao Pong, Jonathan Ross, 8 out of 12. <laughs> So we've just done January and February. What month is next? I'll give you the answer right after this break. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Before the break, we asked you what month we were going to do next. And the answer is, of course, March. <laughs> and in March, Mel Gibson's film, The Passion of the Christ, caused huge controversy. Christians were annoyed that Gibson made a film about the life of Christ and tacked on a silly Hollywood ending where the good guy comes back at the end. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson punched Mirror editor Piers Morgan at the Press Awards, although fair enough, he had been queuing for three hours. <laughs> a dwarf working at Quicksave won a case for unfair dismissal after fellow workers verbally abused him when he tried to reach the high shelves. After winning the case, he said that he was now happy. 
in Panto this Christmas. <laughs> and a singer was told she couldn't join the English National Opera because she was too fat, which is ridiculous. How are people going to know when it's over? <laughs> on that note, let's crack on. March questions. Number one. Okay. This month, Coca-Cola revealed that its new bottled water was from the main supply in Sidcup. Yeah. What was it called? Love piss. <laughs> <laughs> Keep using it. That works for every answer almost. Can you give us a clue? Give us some little clue. Uh, it's the water that was made by Coca-Cola. <laughs> In March. No, can you give us what a letter? What's the first letter? We've got it. We don't need any No, clues. stop cheating. David Williams, eyes on your own work. <laughs> All right, question number two. So, What's the special on, brew? On March. We'll easy. We Come it. back to it later. Okay. March means the Oscars. I'm going to show you two stills from Oscar-winning films, which I've slightly improved. You get one point for telling me both films. I've got an example for you. Here's the example. Uh, Is that you in there? Yeah, but I've made it slightly better. That's well, that's handsome. Handsome. Very good. So that would be Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Okay, what are these two films? <laughs> okay. Oh, what's that one? Okay. You've got to get oh, both got of them for one point. Yeah. Yeah. Question number three. Sex and the City ended forever. But which of the four lead characters is reportedly dating this smasher? <laughs> wow. Okay. We June Sarpong, your, your specialist subject there, did you get that? Yeah, yeah of course you oh, did. All the ladies love the sex in the city. Mm -hmm. Come okay, on, let's have another All right, next one, OK. It was a bad month for the world of horse racing with allegations of race fixing, prompted by scenes like this. Keep your eyes on Sean Fox, who's the guy on the right. I don't know where they get these allegations from. <laughs> OK, what we want to know is which former champion jockey was banned for 21 days in March for failing to obtain the best possible placing? Do you know any jockeys? No. Um... Have you ever been out with a jockey? No. Well, you're no good then, are you? No. <laughs> OK, question number five. You either know it or you don't. What was question three? Question three was the Sex in the City. Oh, right. What who was, was four, dating four. that smasher? Yeah. No, what, was what was four? What was, what was that? Four was the was jockey. Oh, right, just we haven't got any of these. <laughs> We just put down funny ones, David. You're a very funny fella. Oh, OK. We're well, just... Rob's got the pen, you see. He's write down... Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, just write down, I'm a lady and or a gay. <laughs> People like you when you do that. Are you cross now, Rob? Has he upset you? <laughs> it's Christmas time, everyone's a little bit edgy. Oh, don't do that, you idiot. <laughs> don't... don't oh, guess what he's drawn. <laughs> You'll see it in a few moments, no, don't worry about that. See it He's in a few rubbing moments. it out. You can't rub it out. Don't rub it out, Rob. I'm rubbing it out. Don't tell <laughs> me what to do. I'm rubbing it out. Rubbing it out. <laughs> rub it out. <laughs> this is like Christmas with Elton John and David Furch. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> OK. It was question number five for March. It was claimed by a language scholar that due to a mistranslation of the Koran, instead of 72 virgins, what actually awaits martyrs in heaven? This has got a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> it has, isn't it? First what? two months March is were great. This is so us in. really hard now. <laughs> Last question for March. Here is 32-year-old mum of three, Beth Evans from Swansea. Have a look at her. Yeah. But why would her tattoo have taken longer before March 9th? We got this one. Imagine your surprise, though, if you meet her maybe at a, a singles <laughs> evening. You know, dating, you get on well, you get on better than you expected, you go home, you start having sex, you flip her over, fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, you're screwing a boy's band. <laughs> You'd have to be pretty sexually confused to take her from behind, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They'd all be looking at you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to give the answers in March, we've got the man that put the X in X Factor. What? We've got Louis Walsh. Yeah. <laughs> Louis, thanks for coming in, thank you very much. Marvis, nice. you're going to give us the answers for, uh, for March, I believe. I am, yeah. Congratulations on X Factor. Yeah, it's coming back next year, too. It's coming back next year? Yeah. That's the bad news. I'm not sure, I've just realised Jimmy he looks like is Jimmy in thing. G4. He looks like one of the blokes in G4, doesn't he? That's OK. The fat one with the spiky haircut. <laughs> <laughs> but they can sing. There's no love loss between you and Simon Cowell. Not when we're working, no. Not when we're mm. on camera. Did you get him anything for I'm Christmas? Sick of that Simon Cowell. I gave him Westlife. <laughs> That'll do, surely. That, that's, that's a lot of albums from you. Yeah. I'll tell you what, do the answers for March for us. Okay. Tell us, put us out of our misery. What's the first one? The first one? The first, first one is the, is the top one. Yeah. <laughs>
number one. Dasani. Dasani is the name of Coca Cola's yeah. bottled water. Yeah. Let's have a look see what they got. Oh, oh, D A S A N I. Dasani. Oh, we got a double S. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got oh, that's fine, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. give you that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what, what were the two films? Yeah. Tell us. Monster and Lost in Translation. Yep. Got yes. You'd know them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Yeah. Number three, Louis. Oh, yeah. Cynthia Nixon or Miranda? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We got both Cynthia Nixon and Miranda. Wow. He covered all bases, as in fact. Well, in fairness, it was quite an easy one to get. She was the one in the sensible Jimmy Choose, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lesser. This is the answer when I drew a penis. I, <laughs> I can still see the arc of Spunk, so that's something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did it have the traditional three drops or two? <laughs> I think it's five. 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 Yes. He's a big boy. <laughs> okay, uh, number four. Kieran Fallon is the band jockey. Who? What's his Kieran, name? Kieran Fallon. Oh, fucker. No. We put Ant or Deck. <laughs> Ant or Deck, a massive cock, and the little bloke. <laughs> wow, what a party that would be, eh? <laughs> 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 what a night out for us all that is. I'll bring the lube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the martyrs uh, weren't going to get 72 virgins. What were they going to get? 72 raisins. We thought it might be 72 trombones, like the song. 72 trombones. We, we, had, we had a 72-year-old virgin. <laughs> had one. <laughs> we had uh, 7.2 vermin. <laughs> what a treat. OK, now, why would that tattoo have taken a, a little bit longer? Because Brian McFadden left the band. There would have been five people on the tattoo instead of four. Yeah. Brian, 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 Brian. you all got that right. That's it's fantastic. interesting that she waited until after Brian left to get the tattoo. Yeah, and I'm sure that was just a space issue in terms of Brian's size, even though he's <laughs> slimmed down a lot now. He's slimmed down now. <laughs> Can I just say, you two do look really good together. Well, we're Irish. He, he's kind of Irish, you know. I'm, honestly, I'm Irish, but I've, I've, you know, I've lost that. We could be the new, uh, <laughs> it could be the new Robson and Jerome. <laughs> oh, that that looks a couple, bit, it, it looks a little bit like Jimmy Carr. Uh, older and the adventures of Jimmy Carr when he was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, Lou Walsh? Thanks very much for thank coming and doing the answers. Thank Cheers. Give him a round of applause. Louis Walsh, everyone. God bless him. Yeah. Yeah. T.S. Eliot said April is the cruelest month, and it certainly was for Kevin Spacey, who appeared covered in bruises, claiming he tripped over his dog while walking it in a park at 4 a.m. Well, it is easy to fall over your dog, especially when your pants around your ankles. <laughs> J-Lo's mum won $2.4 million in a casino. She couldn't believe her luck, saying she'd only dropped a few coins into the machines to kill time between her daughter's weddings. <laughs> Big Ron Atkinson was sacked for being racist. I can see his point. It's on the top of his white hood. <laughs> Rumours circulated that David Beckham's text with Rebecca Luz were censored because they related to anal sex. If true, this would answer one of the perennial questions posed by football fans about Victoria Beckham. <laughs> Clearly, she doesn't. <laughs> OK, hands of the ready teams. This is 12-year-old Tyler Crotty, whose speech <laughs> elicited this response. OK. What chart phenomenon are these pillars of the community referring to? Don't like it at all, I'm afraid. I certainly have no idea what your sex was whack uh, would mean. I'm all for he said, she said, but why can't they do it with... Why, did, why do you need all the four-letter words? If only he could have phoned her. I've never used language like that. You thought you could really make me moan. Ya burnt, bitch. And I had better sex all alone. Ya even gave him head. Now, that is my type of um, lyric. Hardly Fowler's modern English usage. I wouldn't dream of reading it out. I don't think it should be given any more currency. Thanks very much. Was that a single or something that someone had out or something? It was that single one. Yeah, it was, it, what, it was what chart phenomenon were they referring to? OK. Well, I, what, oh, what's the actual answer have to be, though? <laughs> oh, we asked the... Well, I'll tell you. Well, no, because it can it just be the title it's of the artist. Do you need the artist? Do you know the name of the song? The, uh, the artists. Oh. <sighs> Would it have helped if I said songs? Well, you could have said the phen We know about the phenomenon of it. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <sighs> Put something down, we'll see how charitable we're feeling. You've got children. Down, you have to know these things. things. Good. Leslie Ash was admitted to hospital after a bout of rough sex. <laughs> but 
<laughs> what did you catch while she was in there? What did you put down? Oh, you've got it right. Oh, yeah, they went to a restaurant action. after that, and the waiter came up and said, uh, some bread, ciabatta. He said, no, no, we just fell out of bed. <laughs> ciabatta. What? Ci ciabatta her. Can you explain the joke? Yes. Ciabatta. Uh, yes. The bread is ciabatta. Yeah. Ciabatta. Ciabatta. No, stop. Ciabatta her. Bacon it was an stop. Irish waiter. He said, ciabatta. Ciabatta her. <laughs> he had a cough. Ciabatta her. Unless her. you're actually in the middle of a breakdown, we'll move on. <laughs> it's quite a good joke. What was no. unusual about <laughs> Salman Rushdie's stag party? Oh, I didn't know he had one. Hello. <laughs> OK. Despite the publicity <laughs> surrounding David Beckham's reported affair with Rebecca Lewis, he still snagged a lucrative ad campaign, but for what company? Can I just say this? What? He advertises lots of different things. Yes. Well, he got no, the campaign for this in, in April of this year. Remember, we're doing a quiz of the year. <laughs> As a result of what happened with her, as a result of what happened with her, I know that. As a result well, of what happened with Write it down then. Let me clear this up. That was a shock. I, not as a result, but in spite of. In spite of. Yes, I know. So write That's it down. Okay. Final yes, question for April. Michael Parkinson quit the BBC for ITV. See. What's his reason for leaving? <laughs> oh. Yes. Um, <laughs> was it to do with bread? Was he offered bread? That he didn't like. She batter her. <laughs> See, everyone's doing it. <laughs> okay, okay. The April answers. Could you just give us a second? We haven't yeah. finished. We're ready. We finished. We're ready. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go. April answers. Number one. <clears throat> Tyler Crotty, like the rest of the world, was bored by this man. Eight half members. <laughs> Officials, Look at this when he tries to pull his head off. He tries to pull his own You're head off. Look at that. We stand for the fair treatment of faith-based groups who will receive federal support for their work. Thank God love him. Thank you. you can find the power. OK, who were the chart phenomenon that crammed more swear words into three minutes than Ozzy Osbourne on Bath Night? Can I say, you didn't say who. You said I what. I did. You said what. Name of the song is Ferb. Ferb. And what does Ferb stand for? F you right back. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you, David. We will take that. <coughs> no. What have you got, Jonathan? Eamon. Well, June said it was Eamon. I said the fast food rockers. You said name of the artist, and it's Eamon. I, well, it's not just Eamon, though, is it? It was and Eamon and, and his ex-girlfriend. doesn't like him anymore. Eamon Holmes. It was Eamon Holmes and Fern Britton. <laughs> she was furious. What have you written? We wrote a squiggle in case you thought it looked like the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's childish, but we were giving it a go. <laughs> Did it ever work for any so exams? <laughs> Eric Aid. <laughs> Something. Work for March. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy? The sweary song. It uh, was just Eamon. A well, it was Eamon and Frankie. Mm -hmm. No, Frankie. 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 Was, no, Frankie oh, course, was the reply. That was yeah, but that was the chart phenomenon. I tell you what would be the best thing is everyone got a point for that. <laughs> I tell you what, Eamon and Frankie, I'll give you a point. Or if you got uh, Ferb, Ferb, I'll Ferb. give you a point. Fine. But if you just put Eric, Aid, and then a squiggle, <laughs> <laughs> you get nothing. Oh. <laughs> Maybe Come take on. a point off. No. <laughs> OK. We tried. OK. <laughs> Come on. Leslie Ash caught what in hospital? Chibata. <laughs> <laughs> she caught the, the superbug that now breeds in hospitals because they're not clean, clean enough, enough places. And they're introducing a radical new policy to clean them up, which is called wash your hands. <laughs> in fact, Leslie Ash caught MSSA, oh. but we will accept... MRSA. Yes. What's the, well, we put superbug. Is that not that? Break yeah. down at that end bit. Superbug, I think we'll have. Yeah, we'll oh, accept superbug. Come on! Oh, no. you, he might as well have put, oh. she got ill. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put Herbie the love bug. Yeah. Might as well do that. You're being silly now. Is, is the, uh, the superbug referred to as MI5, MFI, MDF, MRSI. No. Because if it is, they've got a point. It's one of them. It's one of them. Does the MFI stand for because <laughs> incurable? What's that guy? Don't do. <laughs> Firm Britain again. <laughs> yeah. B side. Can we now, can we go to question four, please? Yes. OK. Well, the, Salman Rushdie, yeah. what was unusual about he, his stag party? David he, and Rob, what did took you his, took his, I'll do it. He took his wife with him, his wife-to-be with him. So Incorrect. She'd leg it. Jonathan Ross. Only ladies allowed, apart from Salmon. No one came. He's quite dull. 
<laughs> so only Jonathan and June got that one right. You get a point. Yay! Only ladies were allowed. Bugger. Ah, oh, yeah. I think the invite read black tie, no mullers. <laughs> Okay, uh, David Beckham, who did he get a lucrative contract with? Mobile phones. We put down mobile phones, <coughs> no. but I have seen yeah, Absolutely him. wrong, it's not mobile I phones. I would have guessed Gillette. that. Gillette. Gillette is the correct answer. Well, You've got Gillette as well, Simon and Lisa. No, that he had more than one. No. And you said in spite in of... Spite of the allegations. Well, in spite so of the been, allegations. It would have been before. mobile phones. Well, no, no it wasn't. He already had that before. one. He's had that for years. You said in spite of, and there's nothing to do with shaving your face and having sex with a lady. Well, it was a close shave. It was a close shave, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was mobile phones. I hate you so much. <laughs> he said his spice off. <laughs> David, we're not even on fucking May yet. Come I on. know. <laughs> he, trying to trick us. You know what's great is you're going to lose so badly. <laughs> I'm not a bad loser, you can see. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, Parky. Parky quit the BBC. <laughs> Why did he go? They were pushing him into a late night slot and he wasn't having it, is one story. Yeah, that, well, there's more than that. They were pushing him into a late night slot. Why were they pushing him into a late football. night slot? Let me finish. <laughs> to make space for the football. That's the, the full answer. Day. That is the full Correct. answer. We've we 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 given you that as well. As we well scheduling actually. Saturday night. I love. He's such a wonderful host. He's, he's a proper chat show host. He's a proper chat show host. He doesn't just bring you on and insult you. No. There's a degree of respect. There's. You know, Shooting gravitas about he asks it. Questions, he's doesn't intelligent. He's interested he's in, in you. Yes. Yes. Not just <laughs> going on about himself the whole time. Like he's done you the will ever he's get the fucking grits. invited on Parker, eh? I've been on Parkinson John. Well, there was a mistake. Well Someone no. pulled out. <laughs> Bruce Forsyth pulled out and they said, we'll get a look alike. Yeah, you know <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hadn't been making wobbly noises, you'd have heard. <laughs> At the end of that, let's have a look at the scores. Simon Pegg, Lisa Tarbuck, you've got 15 out of 24. Uh, David Williams, Rob Bryden, you've got 15 out of 24. What? June Sarpong and Jonathan Ross, 17 out of Come 24. Come on! You're winners. Now, if you didn't spend May and June in a coma, join us after the break for more Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year, and like Anita Dobson, we reluctantly slide onto May. <laughs> the boss of IKEA was revealed to be the richest man in the world. He's so rich, he earns £6 million in interest in the time it takes you and me to get out of his fucking car park. <laughs> and controversy raged about pictures of a British soldier urinating on prisoners in Iraq. Let's be honest, it looked bad, but we all know urine can be used to sterilise a wound. It is often taken the wrong way. It's why I no longer work for the St John's Ambulance. <laughs> it was the last ever Friends, and after 238 episodes, the stars really felt like our friends, in that we don't see them as much as we used to, they never call, and they don't really make us laugh anymore. <laughs> Let's ask some more questions, shall we? Right, May, number one. Which newspaper editor was sacked this month for publishing fake photographs of prisoner abuse in Iraq? Oh, we know that one. Well, write it down. Okey dokey. Question number two. Tony Blair was hit by a condom full of purple flour thrown by a member of which pressure group? Jesus. Oh, you're a member, aren't you? Justice. Who? Justice. 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 Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, can I think you cross so. the T properly, please? <laughs> okay, you're going to be very excited now. It's another one of our picture stories. What headline is being depicted here? Mm. Oh, okay. If you think about the full name, that gives you a bit of a clue. The full name of the first person. Full name, yep. Days ducks and the singing people to get a beer from Ricky. We're close. We're going to drink. It's not a duck. Okay. It's not. Oh bugger. Come on, we've got to kick on. Question number four. And now we return to our friends at Mitchell Brook Primary School. What news event are they recreating for us this time? <laughs> Everything is gone. And everybody's going to be so cross. <laughs> oh, no. My lovely tent, my lovely shed. My lovely circles. All my nice things. Ha, 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 the rubbish. <laughs> it's, a, it's great, uh, isn't it? What story were they, uh, were they acting out for you there? 
That is actually the ITN news coverage that was used. <laughs> OK, question number five. Here's Leslie Grantham hitting the headlines for having cyber sex on location <laughs> at the BBC. Boy. What's oh. he thinking of? That's, what's he even doing there? He's I don't know what he's doing there. He's thinking of a lady's boob. That's why somebody's turf. Is, is, is it someone's really disfigured foot? It's <laughs> a pig's trotter. <laughs> I think it's a... <laughs> what, a, what a whole thing to do. Why would he be doing that? Why do you do that? I think it's Jimmy? a really sexy, beautiful picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we want to know is, what costume did he wear when connecting to ladies on the internet from his theatre dressing room? Oh, I know this. Oh. I know this. I know this. <laughs> Final question for May. In May, Gordon Ramsay opened Hell's Kitchen to a group of reserved, unassuming celebrity students. Oh, okay. Not my scene, quite honestly. Does this make you feel better shouting in front of the blue team? I'm not shouting in front of anybody. Is that you have to show off? I'm... How bloody fucking Don't dare you! Don't be stupid. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. I'm not showing off. Don't be off. so stupid. I am tired. Calm down. No! Don't raise your hands. Why not? D what don't do you raise mean? your what hands. What do you mean, don't I'm, raise my bloody hands? I just hands. told you, don't no, no, raise your no, hands. No, no, no. What? No. Don't, don't calm down. No. Take you outside. Just, Is that what you like? Do, do you really want to Just calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. I'm much better just, staying right just, here. Just, no. no. Wow. What we want to know is, who was the first celebrity to leave Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> you know what I think the best thing about it is? It's Matt or Luke Goss, whichever one it is, going, yeah, let's take this outside. <laughs> That's a brilliant way to break up a fight. <laughs> <laughs> let's go outside, make a little circle and all chant, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> OK, the May Morgan answers. Kelly, OK, who, who got sacked? Morgan. Here's Morgan. Did you all get that? You all got yeah. that? Yeah, got that. was an yeah, easy one. Easy OK, what was the pressure yeah, group that yeah. uh, threw a... Condom full of uh, purple flour. Father, for justice. You're absolutely right. If only it had landed on uh, David Blunkett's cock. Wouldn't have been great. <laughs> Could have saved us so much bother later in the year. <laughs> Did you work out the headline? Simon Pegg, we Lisa got, Tarbuck. Did we you work it out? Goose steps in the we middle. There's goose steps, beer Rick. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You know what? We've got one down here, but now, having seen yours, mm. I've worked it out. Oh. But it's not the one we've written down. The one we wrote down, we wrote down as a test, so they wouldn't. No, got to be here. written down. All right, um, the one we wrote down is Des steps in beer at office, but we. I think I know the answer based what on is this. It? What do you think it is? What is it? Des goose steps round the office because it was the bloke oh. from the oh, Express. Right. He <laughs> said. Oh. You said the surname. <laughs> I said I the full the name. I didn't say the surname, I said the full name. I did say the full name, Desmond. David. Because the answer is Desmond Goose full... Steps Round the Office. David. No one's ever called Deslinem Desmond. <laughs> Mum did when she was very angry with him. <laughs> Desmond, come up here and clean Again, your room. The wrong clue, and none of us got it. Jimmy, You're Jimmy. not entering this competition. You could be nice to us. Fuck you. <laughs> He's getting very tetchy. Well, can you not massage his shoulders or something? There's nothing I can do. Uh, That's I've not true. Before. You can do an impersonation of Tom Jones. Well, please, no. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> OK, uh, Mitchell Brook Primary School, we're uh, reconstructing something from the news. What was it? The Saatchi Warehouse fire in which many pieces of Brit pop art perished and they're gone forever. Amongst them, some of Tracy Emmons, for example, her tent. Gone forever. <laughs> that uh, is a good answer. But Brit pop art. Yeah, I know, it's not Brit pop art. It's, yeah, it's, it's like Brit a 70 art. year old talking about it. I read in the mail about the Brit pop art, <laughs> including some undergarments sewn up into a tent. Well, if that's bloody art, then count me out. That's like saying I'm going to a laptop dancing club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the actual, uh, the Momart fire. Yeah. But the Saatchi Gallery, that'll do. Yeah, we'll Fire in Saatchi's art warehouse. OK, yeah, lovely. Shocker. There you go, you will get a point. We well all done. got it, OK. OK, yeah. Leslie Grantham was dressed up as... Captain Hook. Captain Hook, Captain Hook, and... Old grey underpants. <laughs> <laughs> so we he was thought... dressed up in the theatre in old grey underpants. <laughs> we thought, well, he looks like he was naked in the photograph. We thought he's probably got, judging from the reactor light lenses he's wearing, quite an old pair of dirty pants on. <laughs> Incorrect. Um, yeah, <laughs> Leslie Grantham was dressed as Captain Hook. Who else? Yeah, and, you know, the BBC, I think, overreacted. It's not as if he killed anyone no. this time. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the first person to leave Hell's Kitchen was, of course... Tommy, Tommy Vance. Vance. Thomas Cook. Vance. Roger, Roger Cook. Roger Cook is the correct answer. Oh. Yay! He left That's on right. the first day. We've got a little, little bit of footage for you, just to remind you. Roger Cook. <laughs> 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 
Jesus, that hurts. <laughs> He'll be investigating whoever sold that chair to the worry, eh? How did that happen? About 20 stones sitting on a tiny barbecue chair. Who'd, who'd, who'd have guessed that could happen? He belched and broke his ankle. <laughs> 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 Idiots. Let's, let's crack on. Um, so we come on to June. Not literally, Miss Sarpong, although check your contract, we could if we wanted. <laughs> John Reed claimed that smoking shouldn't be banned because, and I quote, it's the only enjoyment the poor have got. That's a bit patronising, and he's wrong. What about joy riding in incest? <laughs> Eight weeks into Big Brother and Michelle and Stu finally had sex, a first for British television. It also set a new world record, as eight weeks is the longest a Geordie girl's ever gone without a shag. <laughs> Ronald Reagan died after his ten-year battle with Alzheimer's. Ironically, the Americans had a day of remembrance. <laughs> <laughs> June also saw the start of Rooney Mania. Sadly, during Euro 2004, Wayne broke his foot. He didn't mind too much, though, because most of the brothels he visits have Stannis stairlifts. <laughs> <laughs> it is question time once again. Question number one for June. <clears throat> Bill Clinton released his autobiography, before you ask, pages 448 and 450. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called? Is it I'm the President, Suck Me Off? <laughs> It's a bad title for a book. Suck me off or I'll press this button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, uh, wasn't suck me off the Russian president? <laughs> <laughs> that was Let very, me ask suck good. me off. How pleased to meet you. Oh, no. Shibata. Right no, there. she just fell over. You see, you like it now, eh? OK, for our next question, it's over to Darren Brown in New York City. My show this year attracted 700 complaints, thus making it the most complained about show in British TV history. Uh, last year, the prospect of me blowing my head off on live TV attracted only 20. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. So, uh, the question is, what was the title of this year's show? And we have travelled 3,500 miles to film me asking you this question, so please try and get it right. <laughs> OK, so what was the name of the show he made in June this year? I should warn you, there's a hidden message in the video he made, and if anyone says Brussels sprouts, you'll dance like Elvis. <laughs> See yourself. <laughs> Take a look at this picture of uh, David Bowie. Tell me what's missing. Why did motor racing legend Sterling Moss write a letter of complaint to the Daily Telegraph? I don't know. <laughs> Why do you think he might have done it? I don't know. I wish I did. Uh, we've, got, we've got a very good guess, we think. He's a racing driver, wasn't he? He was furious enough to write to the Blooming Telegraph. Yeah. He was furious. OK, which thrifty shopper bought these bargains on eBay? A pair of retro bright red shoes, a Winnie the Pooh alarm clock and a video of Dumbo. Is it somebody quite rich? It is someone, I think, that would be considered wealthy. Is it somebody in the royal, with royal connections? Hold I'll on, just, hold I'll just on. Flip down. It's not guess who. No. <laughs> Come on, just, just play with me for a minute. Yeah. They've got a beard and glasses, and they work in the baker shop. No, I'll play the game. Put the queen Just the put the Get the answer down. Him. OK. <laughs> Last question for June. The nation was gripped with Big Brother fever. Yeah. What is Nadia upset about in this clip? Look at me. <laughs> you think this is funny? This is not funny. <laughs> I'm not 16 years old. I know what my choices are. I know what I want. I wanted to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. But this is not funny. Honestly, this is not funny. <laughs> It's not funny at all. <laughs> well, we, know, we think we know. Simon Pegg, Lisa Tarbuck, have you got an answer? Yeah, yeah. we're done. We're, we got no, it. We'll David Williams, Rob Ryan. Give us one second, please. Because You're always just... asking for extra time. Always, <laughs> always, <laughs> always. You're I taking this, this seriously. Okay. Yeah, You're taking. You're There's cheating, basically. Okay, we're ready. We're finished. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to give us the answers for June's questions, the undisputed <laughs> queen of Big Brother, the gorgeous, the glamorous Nadia. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm very well. Thank you. Can't believe the light. Look at that, Nadia. Oh, hello. <laughs> like, I can't believe Nadia. I know. I'm glad I entertained you there for a bit. Oh, it's very funny. It is, isn't it? Looking back, I have to say. Well, God bless you. <laughs> and what have you been up to since you got out? Oh, all sorts. Exciting things, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Well, come on, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what am I doing? I'm just starting rehearsals for my pantomime, my first ever pantomime. What are you, what, who are you in the, in the panto? I'm a mermaid. You're a mermaid? Yeah. Exactly. I haven't seen this one. <laughs> no, it's a Peter Pan one. <laughs> it's a Peter Pan play and I'm a mermaid. Have they got subtitles for the kiddies? Do <laughs> <laughs> we know what's going on? Well, if they don't, you have to come and see it, and then I'm sure they get the picture. Where's it on? It's Southampton. Oh, it's a pleasure having you here. Oh, it's my pleasure for you, you know. Thank you for having me. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> even if you want to do sweets, even if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Moving on swiftly. <laughs> I think I might have pulled. Let's get the answers for June. <laughs> right. Bill Clinton's autobiography was called My Life. Oh, we were, we had my story, my first book, surely that's close enough. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> I had nothing. Just <laughs> hold this. All right, next one. Darren Brown's programme was called Seance. Yeah. No, yeah. Seance. 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 Yeah. We yeah. thought it was Darren Brown and the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Seance. 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 Yeah, you've got both. Seance. Seance. Yes, well done. Have, yeah. Good spell. Okay, third one, it was a lollipop that was removed from David Bowie's face. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How can that be possibly happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever got anything weird in your eye? <laughs> <laughs> no, a lollipop, no. Not a lollipop. I haven't considered that yet. No, mm. okay. Number four. Stanley Morse was upset because they said he died in 1963 crash. I've British racing is in the poo. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. <laughs> we... That's later on in the year. I've, I've preempted. With my poo comments. We, we put down, he was unhappy about something. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel that could be a point or half a point. Nadia. Nadia, Nadia would you give him a point? Would you, would you give me a point, no, Nadia? No, you would. Yeah, yeah, no, you would. No, no, you don't you. Just tell I, him no. No, I'll say yes, because I like him. <laughs> well, in the sense, I, yeah, well, I like Do you him. like him? <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you what, he's a pretty good bet, I would say. <laughs> okay, number five. Charlie Blair bought the items on oh. eBay. Yes, oh. we got that. Oh. Oh, no, no, they've done a picture. Oh. Yeah, that's quite a good picture of them. Jeremy, they? what did you put, Simon? Jeremy Paxman. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Right, and number six, the answer is, of course... My cigarette! I need a bloody cigarette! I was gonna <laughs> sit down and have a nice little smoke this evening. I look at no bloody cigarette! I do that all the time, I get no bloody cigarette! <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Jonathan. I need help. Well, I'm in class. I'm in class. I'm in the pantomime, and uh, I'm in the pizza pan and the pale mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, should we see how good that impression really was? Let's see the real thing. Right, OK. <laughs> Nadia, oh. is it just the lack of cigarettes? Yes, it you? is just the lack of cigarettes. I don't, I don't ask me any more questions. Just get me out of here, please. I'm going to go insane. I look quite serious there. It's quite scary. But it's good, you know. It's good. Good fun. It was all good fun, it I have to brilliant. say. Nadia, I loved you on that. Thank I you, really Lisa. Yes. You were the only person I had person an amazing one. time there, you know. I right. love the fact that you were, uh, and I don't wish to be indiscreet here, but uh, we saw you showering. Okay, uh, right, and okay. I love the fact I'm sorry, I apologise. No, it was pleasant, but I love the fact that you were wearing your kitten heels even in the shower. You know. Because the only other person I've met who done that is David Walliams. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, Nadia, at the end of June, let's have a look at the scores. What, okay. what have they got? Simon Pegg, Lisa Tarbuck, what have you got? 22 out of 36. Oh, well done. David Williams, Rob Brydon, 22 out of 36. June Sarpong, Jonathan Ross, still in the lead, 24 out of 36. <laughs> we are going to take a little comfort break now. Advice to Nadia, seat down. See you in a couple of minutes. Let's hear it one more time for Nadia. Welcome back to the big fat quiz of the year. We're on to July, and it certainly was a summer of love. It emerged that Sven Goran Eriksson and the head of the FA were sleeping with the same secretary. What? Although I imagine at half time they changed ends. <laughs> <laughs> the Sunday papers alleged that Wayne Rooney had sex with a vice girl. Their evidence, an autograph Wayne gave to the hooker. It read, To Charlotte, I shagged you on the 28th of December. Loads of love, Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Apparently he wrote it on a post it note. Why do they need post-it notes in a brothel? To do. Strangers. For money. 
Iraq asked the United States to hand over Saddam Hussein to them as a prisoner of war. The Iraqi foreign minister promised Saddam a fair and unbiased trial, followed by a public execution. <laughs> Fairly confident about the result, then. James Hewitt was busted for cocaine possession, which makes a change from him getting up Charlie's nose. <laughs> right, back to the quiz. Question number one. In July, Greece won Euro 2004. England didn't fare so well. Have a look at this. My question is, who's the bastard in the black? <laughs> I think it was rotten the way that we treated, uh, uh, the way that everyone treated David Beckham after he uh, skied that penalty, just because he'd had a terrible year, he'd had his whole life dragged through the muck, and then he goes up to take a penalty in front of billions and billions of people, and everyone goes, you bloody idiot, you missed it, you prick. <laughs> you know, he just kicked it wrong, leave him alone. Come on, am I right? I mean, he's just a guy. Yeah. He's just he's a guy. guy. He's a he's guy. He's just a guy like you and me. He's just like you and me. And, and just a guy standing in front of a ball hoping to get a goal. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. FA secretary, yeah. Faria well, is Alam... Is all going to be about football? No, it's not all going to be about football. <laughs> this one is about sex in the tabloids. You'll enjoy it. He'll <laughs> 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 be all right. FA secretary Faria Alam opened up about her affair with Sven Goran Eriksson. What task did she claim he performed immediately before making love? I know this. <sighs> <laughs> it's still football related. Well, what do you do before you uh, pleasure a lady, David? Just go to the cash point, don't you? <laughs> okay. Question number three. Oh, God, what was number two? This, beca I've this became a familiar sound in July. <laughs> oh, yes. Is this question three? Yes, it is question three. Stop, stop playing it, we got it. It's, it's, <laughs> it sounds like foxes rutting. <laughs> yes, that's right, Simon. It is that. <laughs> oh, do you see what he's doing? A tactician. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, <laughs> well, what was it? Well, what? What? Go on, tell us what. We'll tell you one later. All right, all right. Okay. <coughs> that Tom Jones. <laughs> because of that, I'm not going to Okay. You. Okay. <laughs> question number four. We take another privileged peek into the secret world of Richard and Judy. What are they talking about now? Well, do you know, I went to see it on my bike, and I thought it was rubbish. I, I'm disappointed. I, I thought it, initially I thought it'd be really nice, kind of very feminine, you know, very feminine and soft no, and flowing. I thought the original idea was all right, but it was completely watered down. No, it, was, it, it, it is terrible, and it's also been proved to be pretty dangerous, actually, as well. I think the whole thing's a very slippery business. Should never have happened. Well, what was he saying? They were saying he went on his bike to see something she thought it'd be feminine. On his wasn't. chopper, he went on. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Williams. You look a bit cross with me. You're no, right. I just don't know the answer. <laughs> All right, next one. Maybe you'll get this one. This is a very easy one. It's gonna Actually, we saw this together, David, didn't we? I don't know what the question is yet, so <laughs> how am I supposed to know? OK. Fahrenheit 9-11 became the highest-grossing documentary of all time. Right, yes. Who wrote, produced and directed right, OK, it? I know this, yes. <laughs> I thought it would be feminine, it wasn't. Question number six for July. On the day John Prescott took temporary charge of the country, what did the government send to every household? Doesn't his face look like a space hopper? <laughs> Write down the answer. Okay, the answer's for July. Hold on. Okay. So the answer's uh, for July. The referee, what was he called? Oh, no, hold it. We just put the referee. You said, who no, was the bastard in black? We said the referee. <laughs> you asked who. That's no. what you are. I'm not accepting it. We could have said his name. We didn't think you wanted okay, that. Okay, all right, fine then. I'll tell you what, I'll give you the point if you can get his name now. I would mention said. Well, he's <laughs> Norwegian referee. I would mention. Chibata. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Pegg, Lisa Talbot, what did you put? I'm not good with names. That's not right. David Williams, Rob Ryden, what did you have? Terry Semley. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Terry Semley? <laughs> uh, he looks just like him. <laughs> <laughs> Half a point. 
Yeah. <laughs> the referee was called Urs Meyer. That's what we said, Urs Meyer. Urs Meyer. Urs Meyer. No points for anyone on that. Sacknusen. Okay. What did Sven do before having sex? <laughs> Boned Nancy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lisa and Simon. He brushed his teeth and put the cat out. No. <laughs> is, that, is that what happens in your household? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you assumed a stance before you said that. Then. Thank you very much. He, he filled the dishwasher. He filled the dishwasher? Yeah. That is the correct answer. Yeah. Oh, is it? And Good as we man. all know, is a uh, popular euphemism for finger banging. <laughs> no, don't be fooled by that. Filling the dishwasher gets you a lot of points and therefore a little bit more... Uh, exactly. Sure, yeah. A little bit more like of a, a liberal so? attitude towards yeah. things. If you said, I'm filling the dishwasher, love, the lady will go upstairs and pop on some lingerie. Well, you might do, actually. Yeah. It's not difficult, lads. You don't want them coming upstairs, you know, with still some of those little tablet pad on their fingers, and then, you know... <laughs> <laughs> no, cos then it... Jonathan, that'd go all nice You're and busy. Mine. You'll wake up lemon-scented. <laughs> uh, lemon-scented? Is that why it's called finish? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. OK, the grunts and the groans. Who did they belong to? Rob Ryden? Women at Wimbledon. Tennis players. Specifically? Oh. That is correct, but that's not the woman in question. Sh Shrap Shrapanova. Sharpova. 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 Maria Sharpova. Maria Sharpova, yeah. That is the correct answer. Have a look at this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Richard and Judy were talking about what? The Diana Memorial Monument. Oh. You're absolutely right. I'm interested to know, what did you get? Anal bleaching. <laughs> Anal bleaching. Because <laughs> he went on his bike and it wasn't as feminine as he'd hoped. <laughs> OK, next one. Uh, Fahrenheit 9-11. Who directed, produced and starred? Michael, Michael Moore. Michael Moore. Michael Moore, of course it was. Michael Moore, of course it was. Well done. Moore. On the day John Prescott took charge, what do we all receive? <laughs> the pamphlet on what to do with the case of the terror attack. Advice. Yes. That is true. Do you, well, did you get it? Emergency did, advice. Emergency did. advice. Yeah. Terrorist, terrorist warning, warning yeah. manual. Yeah, well, uh, uh, whether you put emergency advice or terrorist advice, we'll give or you a point for that. Well. well done. Well, let's move on to look at the next month. With August came British summer. It was a Tuesday. I remember the sleep was very slightly warmer. <laughs> In Cornwall, the village of Boss Castle was flooded by a three-metre wall of water. Luckily, one local said, "You can count the injured on the fingers of one hand." Six. <laughs> And we won silver in the Olympics gay sport, synchronised diving. Our two athletes were very lucky. They were nearly disqualified for heavy petting and bombing. They got off that one on a spelling technicality. <laughs> and the Beckhams announced that Victoria was pregnant with their third child, although David is concerned that the baby may be Rebecca Lou's. <laughs> OK, on your marks, questions for August. Question number one. Mark Thatcher was arrested in South Africa over an alleged attempt to finance a coup in which country? Oh, oh it, was a, it was an African country. Was a no lot clues. Of Milan. Is it? Yes, I think you're right. Uh, I don't know. I think we have this. Have a guess. It's not Wales. Swindon. <laughs> it's a fair guess. What a Noted intellect Pamela Anderson was in the UK promoting her debut novel, Star. What did she reportedly call Richard and Judy? <laughs> okay, question number three for August. Take a look at this. What crime is being committed in that photo? It's hard to see. Is it a man carrying a wallpapering table? <laughs> no, it isn't. But there is a crime being committed there. Wallpapering without a license. <laughs> I don't think I'd be giving too much away if I said this does not concern wallpapering. <laughs> Of course, August brought with it the Olympics. Here's a little reminder of uh, some of the highs and some of the lows. I said, are you going to be my girl? Right. What we want to know is, you saw Pippa Funnel winning the bronze medal on her horse. <clears throat> but why did the Greeks insist on calling her Philippa? 
Is it because it's to fill up a funnel is quite funny? <laughs> you know, they get their own back because we laugh at their names on a regular basis. Yeah. And I'd like to fill up a funnel. They knew they'd have a chuckle every time they said it. <laughs> no, don't put that. Say it. <laughs> okay, you saw nutter Cornelius Neil Horan interfering with young men in the men's marathon. But what was his former profession? What do you mean by interfering with young men? Well, there was a young man running along and he pushed him over. He's a nutter. Oh, interfering. I thought well, he, he might not have been a nutter. What if he saw, yeah. like, a safe falling from a building? He pushed him out of harm's way. Yeah. He's a nutter. Well, well, maybe you should just say someone with some mental disability or problems of that nature. But to call him a nutter, I think, is quite yeah. hurtful to the many, many nutters who are watching. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next question. Move on. Oh, Write something down. OK, ready. OK, you saw Matthew Pinson blubbing like a small baby. But what we want to know is how many Olympic golds has he won? Can we want, have a clue? <laughs> Hold it. How many times did he win? <laughs> Get a a bow there. I'm throwing you at nothing. OK, we're ready. OK. You all ready? Yes. No. Lisa Tarbuck, you ready? No. Yes, no. sir, we are. Right, here with the answers for August, the only woman ever to win both the Olympic 8 and 1500 metres, the one, the only, Kelly Holmes. <laughs> Very well, very well indeed. Thank you. Okay. You look great. Thank you. You've been very good at the running this year. I wasn't bad, was I? What's mm. next for you? What's next for Jumping, me? Jumping, skipping. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to move on? <laughs> I'm going to carry on running, I think, yeah. Another four years of it? No. <gasps> no? No. Why not? Be way too old by then. Don't say that. Oh, yeah. Just moisturise and lie and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the 200 metres, it's not as far. <laughs> you could try that when you're older. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Well, I'm mm. thinking of you. Thank you. <laughs> Kelly, Good. should we get behind the Olympic bid? I'm drawn on it, I don't know what to do. Of course. OK. You're against yes. it, are you? <laughs> well, I was wondering what it's going to do to Hackney, actually, in all honesty. <laughs> to Hackney? Well, it can't get any worse, can it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100% behind it, all right. We're all behind it. Good. Hooray! We have the Olympics here. You've got to keep running. Thank you. Right, answers, go on. Right, <laughs> anyway. Answers. Mark Thatcher was allegedly involved in financing a coup in Equatorial Guinea. Did you get that? Equatorial Guinea. Uh, Equatorial Guinea is the right answer. No point for Papua New Guinea. Hey. <laughs> hey. Same places. It's got Guinea in it, though. Rob, Rob Ryden, David, did you put your own tick on that? Yes, in a clever, <laughs> clever psychological <laughs> ploy to... <laughs> Terrible business. OK, go on, next OK, <clears throat> Pamela Anson, reportedly called Richard and Judy, Punch and Judy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Guess that. Yes. Yeah. What have you got, Robert? So we, got, we got Britain's top husband and wife presenting team. <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue that. Good man. She'd be right. It's a, it's a fine, fine guess. And it's got a tick. Yep. But it's wrong. Right again. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> the crime you saw, Edvard Munch's screen painting being stolen from an Oslo museum. Oh. That's what they were doing in the back of the you car. That? We got We've it. Got that. We didn't get Oslo. We got, we got still yeah. in the screen and we put yeah. Munch. OK, Simon Pegg, oh, Lisa Tarbuck, okay. you put okay. Urban Clearway No Parking. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> there was another crime in the picture. Yeah, there was. <laughs> I thought you brung those parking signs very, very clear for us to see. Yeah, I'm on to you. Tricky, but tricky, tricky. If he was parked in I my street, I thought that guy was him. dressed as a white diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Kelly Holmes, what is the answer to the next question? <laughs> OK, number four. She was called <laughs> Philippa because Pippa means fellatio in Greek. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, we've got that. Fellatio, for anyone watching at home, means a blowjob. So, <laughs> we've got Pippa off. means to suck off. Is that OK? <laughs> <laughs> we thought that was the polite phrase to use in front of a lady. Suck off. To suck off. Would you mind sucking me off? <laughs> <laughs> not terribly, as in badly. No, no, do a decent job. Lay it on. <laughs> Matter of fact, knock yourself out. Well, not literally. What have you got, Rob? <laughs> Rob, David, what have you got? But Pippa in Greek is rude. Uh, <laughs> not enough. Moving on. Go Cornelius Haran was a priest before he became a full-time tosser. Yeah. It says idiot, but it's tosser. He should yeah, have done it. He did it right at the end, didn't he? How far did that bloke the guy was like? The guy was leading the mouth and he just basically came from the side and took him out. But so he's got, you think... he just four years later, you can have another go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if someone jumped out on you? What, what would you do? Oh, punch your lights out. <laughs> OK, and finally. Last one. Um, Matt Pinson has won four gold medals. Three, four, five, or a million. Four or five. Four or five. He's won the last four 
Olympics. Okay, well, you all got that one wrong, I'm afraid. We said four, it's there in plain uh, no. no. That's close enough, Destiny. surely. No. 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 Destiny. All right, let's have a look at the scores. No. Simon Pegg, Lisa Tarbuck, 28 out of 48. David Williams and Rob Brydon, 27 out of 48. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. June Sarpong, Jonathan Ross, 31 out of 48. Come on! We'll see you after the break. Let's hear it one more time for Kelly Holmes. Hello and welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. We're now on to September. The kids went back to school, we all went back to work, as did Oprah Winfrey, who began her new series by surprising her 276 strong audience. She gave each and every one of them a brand new car worth £15,000. Fair enough, I suppose. Oprah is the second richest woman in America. The richest is the lady that runs the Dunkin' Donuts next to her house. <laughs> A man wanting greater access to his child broke into Buckingham Palace. Surprisingly, it turned out not to be James Hewitt. <laughs> <laughs> Governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, officially outlawed sex with the dead. Catherine Zeta-Jones is moving back to Wales. <laughs> and is that the ready? September question number one. In Taiwan this month, what name did Elton John call the paparazzi? <clears throat> Freelance photographers. <laughs> Am I wrong? Okay, so say what you see to work out this headline from September. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. Who's the man? Can you tell us who the, who the who, chap who's is? Who's the man? On the left. He's sitting on the dock of a bay. That was taken oh, sitting on the dock right, of a bay. Right, right, right. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Okay, question number three. Why did Cummersdale Primary School make this child wear goggles? Was he about to go swimming? <laughs> no. Was, was there a lot of chlorine and <laughs> other children's piss in the pool? <laughs> so he was in a science class and they were acting in a responsible way. <laughs> okay, what singer was refused entry into the United States in September? Uh -huh. We got it. June's got it. June's red hot in this round. Good. We've got them all, haven't we? We have. OK, we've got that one. OK, in September, Boffins came up with this equation. What's it for? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know this, yeah. For breeze. September. <laughs> the wardrobe joke. I think that's wrong. That shouldn't be 20. It should be 24, shouldn't it? Right. Equation. Do you know any idea? Put down the creation of the... YouTube. And for our final question for September, I'll hand you over to the bear. No, Patsy, my show's on tomorrow. I'm just asking a question for Jimmy Carr at the moment, wearing a Santa hat. <laughs> Hello, Britney Spears got married for a second time this year, but what was the name of the knob jockey that married her? <laughs> so what's the name of the man she married? Yes! So what is the name of the man she married? Huh? OK, September's answers. Are you ready for them? Are you all finished? Yeah, Hang on, finished. what was number five? <laughs> I don't mind what it was. We've got it. Number six. You've done number six. six. Yeah. Number five was what's the <laughs> equation? That's right, we've four. put number four as number three. It is. Well, it's change it. Tell you now. We can't change it. Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we yeah. can. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah. Do little arrows. That's fine. Don't panic. OK, September answers. Here we go. Sorry, we're all just right, trying to try. work out that formula because I think it's one thing and Mr Pegg thinks it's another. Put both down. We'll be generous. And I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did Elton John call the paparazzi? Pigs. Pigs. Vile pigs. Vile pigs. Yeah, vile pigs. <laughs> what have you got down there, Simon? Rude pigs, and then we put fucking in brackets because it, we, it might have been fucking rude pigs. No, but I don't vile. know if we can say fucking. So I tell you what, let's have a look and see whether we'll give you that. Oh, oh, that Yes, fucking touch you and throw you through the fucking window. Yeah. We've had a great show of the forest. We come to Taiwan and it's shit. You ugly bastard. <laughs> Fuck you. Rude, vile pig. It's in my country. You know what I mean? Rude, vile pig. Hello, That's what all of you are. Get out of Taiwan. Yeah, we'd love Hello. to get out of Taiwan. Yes, yes. Men, what about people like no. you? What's the flag? Pig. 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 <laughs> I think you all got that right. <laughs> I think we called them every swear word. We could have just put anything down. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, OK, what was the headline? I'd like to see all yours in turn. Actually, we'll put them up in turn. Simon and Lisa. 
Sam Ferry Storms the House of Commons. Sam Sam Ferry? No. 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 Hang on. No. Oh, no. No, no, no. You thought it was Sam Cooke, didn't you, the singer? Yes, we yeah. did. Otis Ferry. Go on, what have you got? Otis Ferry. Strikes the House of Commons. <laughs> Strikes. <laughs> June got it. Go on, June. Otis Ferry storms the House of Commons. That is the correct That's answer. Fine. David oh, Williams, Rob Bryden, you get that as well, Strike. I think. Strike. Yeah, yeah God. OK. Well, we Why was the child gone. wearing goggles? Um, get to the other side. <laughs> 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 uh, you've put uh, Yusuf Islam. No, we, the, no, no let's just there's say, we told arrow, you there was Come a on. problem with this. <laughs> we've got, and we've put arrows to clearly say... OK, that... let's see, can we see the next one for <laughs> David Williams and Rob Wright? <laughs> the creation we, we, of the we, universe. We, we, look, we've Again, made there's an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that we've made a mistake. If they can't write them in the right slot, you just should disqualify them well, look, September. let me say this. <laughs> no, we asked, no. We asked what we should do, you got it whether wrong. we should put a line through it and start <laughs> again, or whether we should put arrows. I don't Jimmy think you should Carr, have been... who's the host? Not you! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's the host tonight? Listen, how old are you? How old are you? You're grown men. If you can't follow, what a question number two goes in box number two. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Like a couple of big old... A bully. Okay, That's what you one. are, a bully, <laughs> sir. A bully. Bad. Boo you, you are a bully, sir. <laughs> Hit you. Bloody hard! <laughs> and my arm, he punched Actually, I did me. hurt one of my knuckles. It was all over in a flash. Go and hit him. You hit him. You didn't you, hit me. <laughs> Go and hit him. Go and hit Jonathan okay. Ross. Ross. Fellas, fellas, let's move on. Let's try and get past this, shall we? <laughs> the answer was the child was wearing them to play Conkers. We got it. We got okay, it. next if you'd up. Have shown us that picture. I could have got it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, who was the singer? Refused entry to the United okay, States. Okay, let's go back to number three with us. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yusuf Islam. And Although I that's not his real name. His real name I is Cat yeah, Stevens. I yeah. suggest that if you accept, you shouldn't accept Cat Stevens because he's now Yusuf Islam. That's how he wants to be that's known. That's how he wants to be known. Okay. Does anybody know him as that? Yeah, yeah. but as no, Yusuf no, Islam. Like he wants to be known. I like to be known as Grand Rule of the Universe. Yeah. <laughs> Tough titty to me. That's not what I was christened. Guys, we're all friends, aren't we? Can't. Not any more. We're not, no. <laughs> not anymore. Not after tonight. <laughs> Gone very sour. <laughs> okay, what was the equation for? Well, okay, now with this. Take us back to number back four. To number four. <laughs> <laughs> the creation of the universe. That's what we had. No. no. Uh, Simon Pegg, you put. Nuts. <laughs> Gotta be a formula. We put love. Well, first of all, we put how high Simon Cowell's pants rise above the normal level of hips. <laughs> then June thought, what's love? But I've noticed there's a UCI in there. I wonder if it's something to do with how to create the perfect cinema. <laughs> oh! Sadly, no. Was, in fact, me. it was the equation no, for Sod's yeah. Law. <laughs> Sod's Law? I knew I wasn't going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Question number six, let's go back to the bear. The knob jockey's name was Kevin Federline. <laughs> we got that. Oh. You got it. Oh, we were really wrong. What did you get? Rory Bremner. <laughs> <laughs> that was the next husband. Oh, bugger. Kevin Federline, that's a great dancer. What did you Rory get, Bremner, David? no, she's not married him, although I've heard rumours. What did you get? We didn't know, so we left it <laughs> blank. We didn't put a stupid answer like they did. You sure you didn't put an answer in number How? 17? <laughs> then you didn't put a correct answer like we did. Well, we got it right. I think uh, we could just relax for the next yeah. few months. <laughs> <laughs> we might take down. October off. <laughs> <laughs> we might go away for October, have a little mini break. Please. What do you think, eh? <laughs> I've heard that Venice is nice this time of year. Lovely. Perfect, it's yeah. because. Do you see, you've got two generations there. You've got a very old man there. <laughs> you can get all the old clothes. You're very attractive. No, no. Right, all that messing about brings us on to October and autumn, the season of decline and decay. It certainly was for Rick Waller, who only sold two tickets for a show he put on in Torquay. Although, they were sold to his mum and dad, so technically, <laughs> it was a full house. <laughs> and the venue made an incredible 57 grand on hot dog sales alone. <laughs> Adrian Mutu was devastated when he was sacked by Chelsea for taking recreational drugs. I say cheer up. 
It's not as if you were caught having sex with strangers in a car park, banging your PA, roasting a girl with your teammates, running someone over before driving away drunk, deliberately getting booked to avoid going to Azerbaijan, or fucking someone's gran. If you ask me, you're an example to young players, Mr. Mutu. <laughs> right, October questions. What infamous TV event are these celebrities describing? I, I think that's quite gross, but, you know, if, she got it, if that was one of her tasks, I guess she had to do it. Everything you'd want for your daughter, isn't it? I have to say, I, I thought the uh, momentum she uh, built up over that short period of time really was tour de force, a real pro. Oh, well, she's only making bacon, isn't she? They both enjoyed it, I imagine, so why not? I thought she handled it very well, but I can't say that, can I? <laughs> yeah, I think she's a tramp. Put it this way, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> done it to some terrible blokes. <laughs> what were they talking about? We've got it. We've got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got okay. It. It's a very easy one, that. And it's a pig. It's a man. Well, they're, they're easy when you get them, yeah. Is it something to do with masturbating a pig? No. <laughs> <laughs> because there's only a couple of celebrities I can think of. <laughs> This month saw the tragic deaths of Superman actor Christopher Reeve and much-loved DJ John Peel. Who went first? <laughs> OK, we're ready for the next one. Why was this dog in the news? He went of his own accord. <laughs> Why was he in the news? I've never seen that dog before. Have a, little, have a little guess and we'll crack straight on. It's a weird-looking dog, isn't it? Question number four. Here's the front cover of the Eurostat brochure published in October. What is missing from it? Edvard Munch. <laughs> OK, next question. Who was public enemy number one in Liverpool this month? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very good. Very good, Jim. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. <laughs> We've got it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> OK, here's Fidel Castro finishing a speech in Havana. <laughs> what happens next? Well... Wow. Right. <laughs> Did a cigar fall up his ass? <laughs> fall, fall up his ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> really made me laugh. <laughs> OK, answers for October. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Hang wait. on a minute. You mean to say you haven't got Castro to come out and do the answers? <laughs> <laughs> you've let us down, Carl. You've let us down. He fell in rehearsals. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give us a clue. Yeah, yeah. OK, what were our celebrities talking about? David Williams, you had an idea. <clears throat> Rebecca Lou's masturbating a pig on television. <laughs> Absolutely right. Nicely put as well. Do you want to have a look? Let's have a look and see. Aye. Oh, come on, <laughs> I didn't think he'd be coming for that long. Shame on you tonight, doing that, it? lady. You could have said no. Did the pig then go on to get a Gillette contract? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, of our tragic deaths in October, who went first? It was, in fact, Christopher Reeve. It was yeah. Christopher Reeve. John Peel, just before John Peel died, I was working at the, the radio station, Radio 2, and uh, they sent me a birthday card for him, and I signed, you know, as a joke, you know, because I love John Peel, like we all did, and I signed, don't die too soon. A week later. Yeah. Oh, how terrible, yeah. how prophetic. Yeah, so just, you know, that thing I sent you last week. <laughs> don't open it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of trouble. OK, next up, Red the Dog was in the news because of this. Yeah. Isn't it just that uh, just footage from the Osbournes front room? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was releasing all his little friend dogs. They were in Battersea Dogs Home. Oh, okay. Oh. And he was kind of scooching around the place just letting them all free. Stole the scream? We thought maybe he stole Monks the scream. <laughs> I mean, I know it was stolen around that time, and I know they caught the perpetrator. <laughs> and he's got he the look. It again. He's got a long look about him, like an art critic. Uh, don't know. He could open things. That will do. 
Fantastic, you get a point for that. He will, he, what? He could open what? things? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. a point for he could open things. Oh, yeah, and you don't get a point for that. Stole well, the screen. Well, ours was closer because ours is a crime and he was breaking people what out of jail. What was he doing to the doors? Opening them, but yes! that wasn't the crime. <laughs> well, you'd be killing his wins. He was naughty. Right? That would cover it all as well. <laughs> yeah, bad you dog, didn't. bad dog, off the table. Give us a point. <laughs> Moving on. So you what was missing point? from the Eurostat brochure? Wales. Oh my God! <laughs> we had imagination. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is also true, but you don't get a point, I'm afraid. We put a pirate ship because it was like a nice picture of the sea, like an old map. But it does look there. It looks like um, looks like the United Kingdom's been on the Atkins diet, doesn't it? We've seen that. I'm not having a go, good. Rob. But Britain does look better without it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> come on, a little bit of Tom Jones. Come on. Cheers. <laughs> 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 um, no, they, they left Wales off. So, um, why look did at they all do the it? things we'd miss? <laughs> I'd miss my dog. He's Welsh. Is oh, he? Where yeah. from? Wales. <laughs> <laughs> lower, lower left. He's a rescue. I don't really know. We don't talk about it. No. <laughs> can, he, um, can he open things? Yes, he can, yeah, as a matter yeah. of fact. Yeah, that'll get your point. Doors, Wales, Selby. <laughs> Okay, uh, who was public enemy number one in uh, Liverpool? Boris Yoko Johnson. Ono. Boris Johnson. Johnson. Yoko. Yoko Ono still, yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> After all these years, no one has forgiven her. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at this. Well, Boris Johnson gets the prize as Liverpool's least favourite politician, but where he may get the prize today is for the most number of apologies for a politician. He really hasn't stopped saying he's sorry. But not for absolutely everything. <laughs> I don't want to contradict you, but anyway. Which bit aren't you sorry for? Well, I'm not, I, no, I don't want to repeat. I'm not, I'm, I don't apologise for the entire gist of the, of the editorial. That's all I wanted to say. No, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> so, is he an MP? Yeah, I thought it was Matt Lucas. I thought it was like a little Britain character or something. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of is, isn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> OK. What happened next, we asked you, with regard to Fidel Castro? Let's have a look. <laughs> He's gone down there, but on, on the upside, he gets 250 quid from World's Funniest Home Movies, <laughs> and that doubles, uh, you know, his GDP. Can't believe their luck. <laughs> well, we actually guessed that, uh, you know, because it was obviously quite an obvious guess to make, but when I watched that then and I saw him fall over, I went, yes! <laughs> That's the first time I've ever done that to an old man falling over. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see it again? Liar. Second, actually, but yeah. Yes, come on. Yeah, have have another little look. Effect on. It's, it's a treat, isn't it, every time? Whoa! Oh, that really is a fall, isn't it? But I think oh, he'd be thanks. more damaged by the speed with which they picked him up. They really yank him. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, the scores at the end of that are as follows. Simon Pegg and Lisa Tarbuck, you've got 34 out of 60. David Williams, Rob Brydon, you've got 35 out of 60. June Sarpong, Jonathan Ross, 40 out of 60. Come on! <laughs> Bring on November. Bring us December. It is all to play for. Well, like Fidel Castro, we've only got a couple of months left. Join us again after the break. Welcome back to the final part of the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. In November, the sky was lit up with fireworks, mainly above Liverpool, celebrating Boris Johnson's resignation. <laughs> he quit to spend more time with the family. Not his family, obviously. <laughs> Yasser Arafat died in Paris. I feel sorry for his wife. Everywhere she looks, she's reminded of Yasser, even when she's drying the dishes. <laughs> A thief stole two million pounds worth of gems from Ozzy Osbourne's house. The ageing rocker grappled with the intruder and is said to be quite badly shaken. No change there, then. <laughs> We've got some more questions for you for November. First one. Royal rascal Prince Harry was rushed home from which country after a reported kidnap threat? <laughs> Question two. Why did reptile breeder John Jones tortoise make the headlines? When you say made the headlines, did he make all the headlines? <laughs> all the headlines. Yeah. The Guardian, yeah. the Independent, the Telegraph. Said summit. Pigs in knickers. All the, all the magazines you oh, read. No. Pigs in knickers. <laughs> oh, yes. Well done, June. OK, number three. Which Coronation Street star was accused of shoplifting in Brent Cross? 
No, it's shopping or shoplifting? Shoplifting, yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, if you shopping. see someone shopping, <laughs> yeah. I accuse you of shopping at Brent Cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you, June. <laughs> Were you worried about, hang on, they'll be coming for me next. <laughs> I spent a fortune on lip gloss there. Oh, I bought some more shoes, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> next question. Watch this footage yeah. of committed Christian, Cheng Chung Ho. What was he trying to tell the lions? Bad lion. <laughs> Down Steve, boy. Steve Irwin out of shot and just dangling it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was he trying to tell the lions? You reckon? <laughs> You're just guessing, okay. aren't you? Question number five right. for November. Hang on. George Bush won the presidential election in America for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of his running mate? Kelly Holmes. Um, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Oh, I know. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> West End Musical, the producers, opened to critical acclaim. But which Hollywood star did Nathan Lane replace at the last minute? Chris Evans. <laughs> Shelley Von Strunkel. <laughs> Chibata. <laughs> okay. Are you still doing the Chibata joke? No, she came of her own call. <laughs> right, okay. What country was Prince Harry rushed home from? Argentina. South Africa. We put Argentina as well. Argentina, Argentina, South Africa. The answer is, of course, Argentina. Just well done, well done. I didn't know that. Unlucky. It's not really unlucky, it's just a lack of general knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's a lack of being, well, paying attention. To if you had known I was going to do this, I would have watched the news <laughs> for, for, the, for the past year. Well, now you know for that year. <laughs> <laughs> you told me January the 1st, this is what I'd be doing. They might have done it, okay? Oh, more no, I'll tell you what, we'll do it again next year. Watch the news. All okay, right. I will. <laughs> okay, uh, why, why was the tortoise breeder in the news? Because it had two heads. Two Siamese. <laughs> Siamese? Oh. Yeah, Are we taking that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Siamese yeah. tortoise. It's not. It's totally different. It's a Siamese not A Siamese twin doesn't have to come from Siam. It's not like... Oh, we call joins. them Siamese because okay. Chang and Eng, the first twins conjoined, came from Siam, okay? Now, yeah, that's what I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, just to move things along, we will accept it, let's move on. Thank but. you. <laughs> You'll get tired uh, number three, what Coronation Street star was accused of shopping in Brent Cross? June? <laughs> we guess Bradley Walsh, he looks like the sort of might shop. Um, Simon Pegg, Lisa Talbot, what have you got? We put Mike Baldwin, Johnny otherwise Briggs. known as Johnny Briggs. A.K.A. The Tongue. Just the only actor we, and character we knew. Why would you have put Dirty Den? Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> It was, in fact, Dev. Dev. Jimmy Harkashin or Dev. The nutter with the lions, what was he trying to tell them? Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Don't talk to strange men, lions. <laughs> no to self. Hey, listen. We assumed it was a religious thing. It was something about Jesus. Jesus okay, loves John, lions. Jonathan, you, you've Assumption. gone for... The it put, it the is the end of the world, but he might also have been saying, hey, can't we all just get along? <laughs> right? David and Rob are entirely spot on with the uh, Jesus loves them. Wow. Well. Yeah. I thought he was well saying Akuna Matata. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It means no worries, worries. no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem-free <laughs> philosophy, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, all right. Um, Bush's running mate Dick was, of Cheney. course, Cheney. Dick Cheney. John, John Carey, you've we gone misunderstood. For. We thought we you meant his, who he was running against. I would also have accepted Prince Albert. Think about it, it's sort of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and the Americans have got another four years of this to look forward to. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful. And so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people. And neither do we. <laughs> we got an issue in America. Too many good docs are getting out of business. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their their love with women all across this country. And there's no doubt in my mind, not one doubt in my mind, that we will fail. <laughs> okay, who pulled out of the producers? Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. <clears throat> Correct. You all got that? Yeah. 
Finally, we reach December. It's Christmas time and there's no need to be afraid, unless you're the Santa that was banned from a shopping centre in Birmingham by the local council. They said they were worried about offending other religions. What other religions are these exactly that would be offended by Santa? I ask you, did he die on the cross for nothing? <laughs> David Beckham built a fort for the kids in the back garden at a cost of £120,000. Beckham, I ask you, he's got more money than sense, although he crossed that threshold with his first paper round. <laughs> These are the last questions. Make an effort. The song on everyone's lips was Band-Aid 20, Do They Know It's Christmas? And tonight, thank God, it's Bono asking the question instead of me. On the day we recorded Do They Know It's Christmas, which very special pop star made the tea and the biscuits? Lovely. Question number two. Joe Pasquale won I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here in December. But the first person to leave was Brian Harvey following an argument with Janet Street Porter. What started the argument? I want her to be Prime Minister. I think it would do us a world of good. Refreshing Janet Street Porter. But can you imagine when she had to speak to someone from another country, they wouldn't know what the <laughs> fuck she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Let's face it, it's been a bad year for David Blunkett. What is the name of his troublesome former lover? Oh. Gillis McGinty. <laughs> the Turner Prize was won by Jeremy Deller, but what was voted the most influential artwork of the 20th century? Oh, I think. Can I'm we have a clue? Is it a painting? Yeah. No, you can't have a bloody clue. Yeah, it's a painting. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it is an artwork. It's a painting. <laughs> okay, question number five. I think that's it. Maybe not. Which fashion doll lost her crown this Christmas? Ah. <sighs> okay, the final question of the big fat quiz of the year. Yeah. Why was the BNP Christmas party considered a disaster by its members this December? I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the BNP Christmas party considered a disaster by its members this December? <laughs> you don't still vote BNP, though, do you? You've yeah. turned it. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked around. Yeah, talked me out of it. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lisa Tarbuck, pens down. <laughs> okay. Okay, the answers for December are as follows. Yes. Well, I let Bono give you the answer to the first one. Oh, great. Damon Alburn. Um, and he makes a very good cup of tea. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Bono you. picking up his hundred quid for that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Did you all get that? Yeah. Yeah, Damon oh, you know. okay. Fantastic. Easy. Easy. OK, the argument between Janet good. Street Porter and Brian Harvey was about what? Farting. We put breaking wind. Farting. Which is much nicer, isn't it? Mm. I hate the tell tales, but June's let a couple go tonight, and I'll be honest with you, it's... <laughs> and they've been no, fragrant. Haven't. They like roses. Like spicy lavender. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David Blunkett's lover. What's she called? Fish Gills McGinty. Give <laughs> 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 him a little fortune. Oh, are you some sort of Jeremy Paxman or something? <laughs> June happens to read. Um, June and I happen to read the papers. <laughs> All right? Just because you are so self-obsessed, you only look for your name in bloody spotted <laughs> in heat. Interestingly, <laughs> interestingly, Jonathan and June, David and Rob have actually done the Braille symbol for her name. So... <laughs> be tempted to give you something there. Uh, her name is Kimberly Fortier. Yeah, so, Fortune, we're not going to give you. Uh, Fish Gills <laughs> McGinty, we cannot give you. Sounds <laughs> like it. like it, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Fish Gills McGinty. Come on, it's Christmas. Pet name for her. No one got that wrong. <coughs> okay, the most influential yeah, artwork of the 20th century. What was it? Duchamp's urinal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. That's Correct. what we put down as well. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Duchamp's, Duchamp's uh, urinal. Pissoir. Rob, David, could you look any more pissed off and movie? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there was a lot to choose from. There's a lot of great art in the 20th century. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, you know, I was going to put down as a guess and Picasso, Guernica. Yeah. Actually, well, was it, it was close, apparently. It was a toss-up between Duchamp's urinal and that picture of all the dogs playing snooker. I believe that was <laughs> my favourite. It was a coin flick at the end that decided it. <laughs> OK, uh, question five. The fashion doll. What was it? Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> yes, yeah. Barbie was overtaken as I the UK's best-selling fashion doll by Bratz dolls. We got yeah. that as well. Oh, we got, got that, that little bit as well. Oh, a little bit of extra information that we put on there, just free. Didn't okay, the final question. Barbie. What was the reason the BNP Christmas party was a disaster? We know. Yeah. June Sarpon, why was the it? The DJ was black. 
<laughs> that is the correct answer. Well done, Jim. We put they were hoping for a white Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> something, doesn't it? That's... Right, we, we put, put, they are shit and they were hoping for a while. <laughs> they are shit. Yeah. That's it's a fair comment. I love the fact they they, they, oh, they got the guy and they said, <laughs> paid after they said, he sounded white on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. sounded white on the phone. How do I like David Williams and Rob Bryden. <laughs> what was your answer to that? We got it right. I said a black person came. <laughs> 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 That's not good enough. That is not good enough. You're rubbish. You are rubbish. Fit on that line, you can't fit in the rest of it and played records, which is what we were going to put. Black DJ. Sorry. Hey, how are you? You're the one who decides. He decides, or a lady telling him down a thing. Yeah, I'm lady telling him. You get a point, David Williams. It doesn't matter, you've lost anyway. Not necessarily. Let's tot up Thank the scores. Yeah. So, how many did you get at home? Under 20, well done. What's the weather like in Norfolk? 20 to 50, good work. At least you've been paying attention this past year. And if you got over 50, brilliant, you get an A level. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the teams in reverse order. Simon Pegg and Lisa Tarbuck. You got 41 out of 72. Well done. Well done, that's something. You didn't come last! Next up. David Williams and Rob Ryden, oh, 43 out of 72. Congratulations, thank you for playing. And June Sarpong and John O'Gross, 49 out of 72. And that means, that means you take home the inaugural Big Fat Quiz of the Year prize. Look at that. Look at that. One next year. Look at that. Look at that. There's a picture of a man playing dance on there. They just killed it off. Well, that's lovely. That's lovely. nice, isn't it? It really is classy, isn't it? Yeah. Somewhere to keep Grandpa's yeah. ashes at last, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thanks to all our special guests, Louis Walsh, Nadia and Kelly Holmes, and, of course, our panellists, Simon Pegg, Lisa Tarbuck, David Williams, Rob Ryden, Hugh Sarpong and Jonathan Ross. I've been Jimmy Carr. Good night. <laughs>Be brave, get behind the scenes with Avid Merian. I got you, babe, from Bohind tomorrow night at 10.50. Next on four, plenty of booze and a load of knockoff meat in the shameless Christmas special.